in this tutorial we are going to create something like this hey guys welcome to crnt designers this is chetan and in this blender tutorial we are going to learn something amazing so watch this tutorial till the end and without further ado let's get started to make the model we need to add a simple cube add the cube and then scale it along the z axis as like this it's very simple i'm just creating the basic block out and i'm giving the right proportion to it so give the right proportions so that's why just you need to use the simple transform operations add there that's easy after that you need to add the loop cuts like this add one loop cut from the side and then add the center loop cut and then add a loop cuts like this few more then you can select these faces and then e to extrude this and you need to extrude these faces along the z axis as like this then you can select these words and then you can move these words along the x axis now i just want a slant cut at there so i need to use knife tool so just use the knife tool and create that slant cut as like this then you can select these faces and then delete these faces now you will get this kind of form just select this edge loop and then press f to fill the gap that's it now just you need to do the simple thing select the words right click and connect to vertex path that's it then you can select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize after that you can select these faces and just delete them then you need to do the most important thing which is the merging the words so select everything press m and merge by distance after that you need to apply the scale on the model that's very simple then go to the orthographic view select these words and then move them little bit along the x axis and then you need to press control b to add the bevel add there and to create that curve structure you can see i'm getting the weird topology to the inner side of the model and we don't want that so that's why we need to delete the inner faces after that you can select these edges and then just adjust the little bit of position and then control b and then add a bevel on them and this time create that curved structure give the right bevel width and segment to create that ram structure in this way and that's very simple to create that curved form now you can see the form looks really well then next thing you need to select this edges and then press f to fill the gap if i select this edge and if i press multiple times f then i will create the path like this and we don't want that so that's why just get back to the pavilion means your initial position and then select this edges and then press f to fill the gap then you can select this edge loop and then press f to fill the gap after that you can select this edges and then control x to dissolve this edges select everything and then mesh symmetrize take the symmetry and now you can see we got the form like this then you can dissolve the bottom edge now here you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the cuts like this you need to create the supportive topology add there to maintain the form of the model then you need to add one loop cut like this and then use the edge slide add there and then scale it along the y axis and then connect it with the help of knife tool then you can add one more loop cut like this and add one more loop cut like this and then select these words and then connect them here we need to create the loop structure so that's why then you can select these words and then merge them at the center after that you can dissolve the edges and you will get this kind of loop structure add there just select these words and then merge them then you can adjust the position of the edge and then just give the right position to these words so you will get a decent looking loop structure add there that's it and similar kind of loop structure i need to create from the inner side also so that's why you can select the words and then merge them and then you can dissolve the edges and just try to give the right position to the words and here you need to use the knife tool and you need to complete that loop structure in this way you can see just adjust the position of the words little bit so you can keep the same distance at there in this face loops after that you need to select everything and then mesh symmetrize take the symmetry along the y axis and then you can add the supporting loop cuts like this to maintain the form of the model and here you can create the loop structure or you can keep it as it is that's totally fine 
If you want more this kind of tutorials, then please give 100 likes to this video. Then you can come here and then you can add the two loop cuts like this. I just want to create a little bit of form at there, so that's why I have added this loop cuts. Then you can select this corner edge and then control B and then add a bevel on it. Create chamfer form at there. Give the proper bevel width and add the one segment bevel. Then you can select this edge loop and double tap G for the edge slide. Here you can see I am facing the little bit of difficulty with the face loops. So that's why I need to create the right chord based topology at there. So I can add the loop cut like this and then I can select this words right click connect vertex path. Then select everything mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry along the x axis. And now you can see I am getting the face loop structure at there. That's what we want. Then you can add the supportive loop cuts like this to maintain the good form on the model. After that the most important thing is adding the sub D modifier. And you can see, just dissolve this edge loop. You can select these words, right click connect to vertex path. Then use the knife tool and create that loop structure at there. In this way. Then just dissolve this edge. Select these words, right click connect to vertex path. And similar kind of loop structure you need to create on the top surface also. So take the knife tool and then create that loop structure. Then just give the right position to this edge just a little bit. And then you can select these edges and you can use the edge flow and edge slide. If the edge flow is not work then use the edge slide. And just keep a little bit of distance. Equal distance. I want a little bit of curve form at there so that's why. Then add one loop cut like this and then shear smooth it and then add the loop cuts like this at the bottom. Here I can't use the insert edge loop. Here I need to use the knife tool to add that edge loop because it's a slant cut. And then add few loop cuts here and just try to maintain the right chord based topology on the model. That's not a difficult thing. Easily you can do this. Then you can add few more loop cuts like this because I want to create a detail set there so that's why. Then you can add few more loop cuts like this along the y axis. Then select this edge loop and double tap G for the edge slide just to keep a little bit of even distance at there. Then you can add one more loop cut at here and then give the right position to these words and just try to keep the same distance at there. So you will get a smooth good shading at there and you won't face any difficulty. You can see that edge loop, how it goes across the model. Then select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry. And now you can see we are getting the decent form here just increase the sub D count up to 2. And you can see the model looks really well. We got a smooth shading on the model. We got that ramp form at there which looks really well. Now I will create a little bit of details on the model and that's not a difficult thing, easily you can do this.
in this way you can get this kind of form this kind of design which looks really well so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care